Scholars, it's me, Miss Vance, and today we're going to learn about supertizing. Some people call it subitizing, supertizing, it doesn't matter how you say it, it means the same thing. So what is supertizing? It's actually taking a picture in your brain and then telling yourself what you saw in the picture. Isn't that amazing? Let's think about it. Can you sit here and take a picture with your brain? And then think about what that picture looks like and tell yourself or tell someone else. So we're going to practice. You can actually start supertizing using manipulatives. Remember, manipulatives are things we use to learn. So they're not toys. We use them for learning. What is manipulatives? Yes, things that we use to learn. And what is subitizing? You did it, taking a picture with your brain. Now watch this, we're gonna try it, okay? So when you do it, you have to think about it and see it and do it quickly, okay? So can you tell me what did you just see that I put here? You're right, I had one blue bear and one yellow bear. So that's two. Let's try it again. So you're gonna tell me what colors you saw and then tell me how many you saw, okay? Now, they're, they're, they don't have to stand up. They can be laying down. I just want you to take that quick picture with your brain, and then I want you to tell me what you saw, okay? What did you see? You're right. We had one green, one blue, one yellow, and one red, so that's four. Let's try it again, okay? Here we go. Oh, can you see it? Take it away. Three. Yes, now this time I'm going to put the bears and I want you to show me with your fingers, all right? Here we go. Two. How do you know we had two? What colors were they? Blue and green. Let's do another one. How many did you see? Four. What colors were they? We had two green, one blue, and one yellow. Now, adults, if you're helping your scholar learn to subitize, you're going to show them the image, the picture, the manipulatives really quickly and take it away. Now we're going to transition out to actually using dots and numbers. So look at this one. That's four. So I'm going to put the number four under it. Okay. Can you see that? And then we have five. So I need to find the card with five on it. Look at the five. It has two at the top, two at the bottom, and one in the middle. It's kind of like four, but four doesn't have any in the middle. Then the next one, three. And with the three, look at it. That's three. And then our next one, can you see that? Our next one is one. One. And then the last one, two. Adults, if you're helping, you want to put the dots along with the numbers so that they can identify them. Some students can't identify all of their numbers, but this will help them. Now what we're going to do is take our cards. I'm going to show you a picture really quickly, and you're going to tell me how many or how many. You can use your fingers, you can tell me, or you can touch it, okay? How many? Four. Four, because it looked like this. The number four. Two at the top, two at the bottom. Let's do another one. Two. You did it. Two. And another one. Let's see. Uh -oh. Five. How do you know it was five? Two at the top. Two at the bottom and one in the middle. Let's do another one. Three. Three. 
All right, I hope you had fun learning how to subitize with me. Parents, if you're watching, remember, you can keep working with your scholars all the way up to the number 10. If you're using dots, um, you can also do it. Remember, if you're using fingers, that's another one. Let's try that for a second. Show me with your fingers what I just did. Yes. How about this one? Show me with your fingers what I did. Yes. How about this one? I used two hands that time. Show me with both of your hands what I did. Yes. Now this time, I don't want you to show me with your hands. I want you to tell me with your mouth what I did. How many? Four. Yes, one more. Six. Five and one is six. Happy learning and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye-bye.